My name is Chavad Yeli and I am the Technical and Creative Director of Far Cry. At the company I am the President of Crytek as well. Far Cry is a tactical action game set in a tropical island. We call it a tropical island shooter and um, so it is pretty much an FPS set in the in open environments but it is an environment which should appeal to uh, let's say a grandma as well. <laughs> so it should appeal to everybody, it should be giving the sunny flare this, this uh, tropical beauty of a vacation day. Um, so it's pretty much the bottom line of it. Um, the idea is that you play Jack Carver, a uh, skipper uh, of his uh, lovely boat and uh, you, uh, you get a job assignment from a journalist called Valerie. Valerie asks you to bring you to the specific islands, chains of islands, and Jack says, Jack is not really interested in it unless he says, offer me good money. So, so Valerie offers uh, him a lot of money and Jack Pearl apparently as being a, um, uh, doing this for a job and for a living he says, well, money is good and money talks, so he, he does the job. So he brings her to the island and at the island some evil guys blow up his boat and his whole life is blown up with it because this is what he has and nothing else. And also as he wakes up he finds himself uh, kidnapped into, an, uh, into a bunker which also has been blown up and people think he's dead in the, in the, in the, in the bunker, he cannot survive the explosion. And so now he has to basically pretty much find his way out, but also he has to find Valerie now. Uh, in Far Cry we're using a, a feature called, uh, another feature, gameplay mechanic called long range gameplay, which is uh, you can shoot up to one kilometer. Uh, so it means you, you can use like a sniper rifle for example and study your aim, is proning and take out a guy over one kilometer. Then um, also it means you can observe with your binoculars with a 25 times zoom. And this is like a huge zoom in gaming. Uh, to up to his head and full screen over nearly a kilometer once again. But also you can have use the binoculars to directional listen and the audio what's going on is the directions. Not only is it drawn but also is visible. Also we give the player hints and level design for example in a kilometer we show a building which you have to go in for example or for that matter a helicopter flies by the, the player and draw and flies into one kilometer distance, but you can follow here with your eye this direction. And as a level design signal, it means for the game, ah, oh, there's something cool because your helicopter is flying there, so I should better check it out. We have uh, two things: uh, a, uh, we have a dynamic lights and shadow system, and b, we have a static lighting system, which is a pattern pending process, which is called dot three dot three light maps. Dot 3 light maps is a combination of bump mapping and light mapping technology in one. Pretty much before that technology, it was exclusive to each other, like light maps and bump maps were exclusive to each other. And so we created this process of, of a technology, of a, of a light calculation, which means you're going to have hundreds of lights pre-calculated, but all of them are bump mapped. So all the surfaces are still bump mapped. And so that combined with dynamic lights and bump mapped lights, plus volumetric shadows, which are soft as well, creates a very dramatic environment pretty much. And so in addition also we have projected textures which create uh, some sort of detailed shadows which uh, can also be projected into smoke for example, into atmospherics. So if you have a smoky environment like a volume, like clouds and stuff and you have a light source which has a, has a grate, metal grate on top of it, you can see how this grade is projected into the smoke, so it creates a very dramatic, uh, cool environment. The Fakra uses a very strong AI system in terms of, uh, we're not using it like a treasure-based AI, which around the corner I wake up a guy and he walks at me. This is traditional games. We are pushing AI much, much further. We give as a, as a game, we offer the player like a group AI tactics, which means like they can be like just isolated groups, but also they can be groups with a leader. And if you shoot the leader, the group will actually become disorganized but also they become very aggressive and will shout and rush to the player. But in top of that also we have reinforcements which means if a group is compromised and so like from four to two, then suddenly also one guy goes to call and calls over radio or flares or different signals pretty much uh, and reinforcement and reinforcement can come in dynamically and unscripted either or land uh, with an helicopter, like a troop, sorry, a truck over uh, with troops, or with a jeep, or it will call over air with a helicopter, or with the water, with a, a speedboat, arriving with several uh, enemies. 
A subset of it all is a single AI behavior, and every single AI is, has a different role, like a scout or a rear guard, a, a sniper, and, and so on. And uh, for example, as for the single AI behavior goes, we have also allowed them to take covers, to take uh, rocks, to roll out of rocks, and to lean out of buildings, etc. And this is all non scripted. And so this all combined to each other with the whole group AI behavior, single AI behavior reinforcement gives you a challenge which is pretty much always unique. In Far Cry you will find multiplayer modes which are deathmatch, team deathmatch and also assault. Assault is our own creation of an assault map which is combination out of captures a flag, assault map from Unreal Tournament for example, uh, also has objectives from other uh, multiplayer games uh, combined with the tropical setting and tactical layout of our level design. And further we have a class based system in the assault mode. Um, so all this combined recreates our Far Cry typical multiplayer game. From the pacing we are positioning Far Cry right now above Counter-Strike but below uh, arcade multiplayer games like Quake or Unreal Tournament. So it's a little bit faster than Counter-Strike but slower than Quake or Unreal. We are pretty much done with the single player maps. We are refining and bug fixing. Like from the content creation we are done, but we are bug fixing and refining and polishing elements. At the multiplayer, we are creating our last maps right now, but also here we are backfixing, getting a lot of feedback and finalizing it. We are pushing the content tools now, like the editor and the mod, mod tools. Um, but I would say like we are 90%, 95%, just about to be done completely. Yeah, so Far Cry we are playing right now, we are pushing the, the quality level a little more. It means we are polishing and backfixing and uh, bringing all the levels and all the feedbacks to one level, which we think is AAA and the blockbuster. So we, believe, we, we hope to uh, finish Far Cry for Q1 2004.